What's up, Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel, all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and tutorials. Today, I have another unboxing for you. Today, I have another unboxing for you, and this is of all 10 of the Sailor Moon Yume Chiku dolls, which Japan was selling in crane games across the country a couple of months ago. Now, usually with crane games, they only cost a few hundred yen, which equates to a few dollars here in the United States. And oftentimes you can find crane game winnings online, or you can test your own prowess at crane games by using one of the online crane game operators. I don't use online crane game operators because I'm a little worried about not being able to win anything from them or just wasting my money. So I usually just end up finding these items on eBay. They're relatively decently priced. However, with these, they were going for lots of dollar bills on eBay, and I'm not really sure. Given the small size of them and given that, uh, you know, they're decent quality and everything, they're very cute, but why would people want to spend $50 on a Yume Chiku doll? I don't know. But here's the box of the ones that I purchased, and I got all 10 of these from the same seller over on eBay for about $200, which means I got each one for, let's see, that's 10 times, so about 20 bucks each, which is pretty fair given that it was also free shipping from Japan. So I'm gonna unbox these today and take a look at them and we'll find out if these are actually worth it or if there's something that you should skip. Okay, we got them all unboxed or unbagged, if you will, and oh my goodness, they are so cute. So I'm gonna start with the inner senshi and then work out to the outers. So the first one that we have is Sailor Moon. Now you may be wondering, what is Yume Chiku da? I don't know, but what I can tell you is Yume means dream. So dream Chiku sounds kind of like dream chick or something like that. I'm not really sure if there's a translation for Chiku or if it's just a very cute word in Japanese, but that's what Yume means. Yume is dream. So here is Sailor Moon and she does look quite dreamy with all the adorable little hearts. Her hair is very thin and looks kind of like a felt material almost. And the inside of her feels, uh, it feels like they just packed her with cotton. So nothing special there. This is elastic. So you can stretch this and then tie it off on something if you wanted to carry her around on your purse. And she looks really cute. So I love that her eyes are embroidered. She also has adorable little eyelashes and everything. And it looks like everything is glued down fairly well. I don't see any issues with her. Uh, her, her choker is printed on. And then everything else seems to be like screen printed or glued down on top of that, like ironed on. I would be careful with some of the smaller pieces, like this little brooch at the bottom of her fuku is, a. it looks like it's glued on as well, but that might end up coming off over time. So definitely be careful with stuff like that. And the bow on her back is also glued on. So they're definitely inexpensive items. Each one does come with a tag and the tag also has the Toei animation symbol sticker on it. I like leaving my tags on. Uh, looks, there's just a bunch of text in there. It's all written in, that is hiragana. Can't really speak hiragana, so I can't tell you exactly what those translations mean. That is Sailor Moon. Then we have Sailor Mercury. Same thing, elastic cable on her. And then this is what she looks like. She has really cute little hearts for the reflections in her hair. Again, those seem to be like an iron transfer that is on there. So, Definitely not the highest quality item, but she looks adorable. She has a little bit of a scuff on there. I'm gonna have to use, oh, there we go, I got it off. It seemed like a piece of her, her fabric was coming out, but I was able to get it off, no problem. Look at her cute little ears, those are adorable. Oh, and she has earrings. That's so cute. Next up is Sailor Mars. Sailor Mars kind of looks like she has She's got some weird hair going on in the back. Doesn't that look kind of funny? I think it looks kind of funny. Her hair looks really funny. <laughs> She's got like party in the back. She's adorable though, very, very cute. And she also has her little earrings as well on her teeny tiny little ears. And again, I love the hearts and the embroidery eyes. Those look so cute, very cute. I would definitely put one of these on a purse. All right, and then we have Sailor Venus who also has a party going on in the back. That's such a weird, way to cut the hair. I mean, I guess it makes sense from like a manufacturing standpoint. They probably just cut it that way so that they could sew the front end on over it. 
So yeah, it makes sense given it's such an inexpensive item from Japan if you're not buying from a reseller. But she's cute too. Let's see, she's got her earrings. She's got a cute little winky embroidered eye. I like that their eyes are kind of reflective, like they use a pretty reflective threading. So they kind of shine whenever you move them around in the light. That's very cute. Silly Chibi Moon with her cute little pigtails. Adorable. Her pigtails are very skinny, just like Sailor Moon's pigtails. And same thing with her odongos. Those feel pretty fragile. I'd be careful with her odongos. Why? Oh, she's all stuck up in there. Hold on, let's fix that. There we go. Okay. There we go, honey. You look much better now. She's cute. Oh, I almost forgot Jupiter. My bad. Sorry, Jupiter. Sorry, Jup. Oh, look, she's got, um, she's got a party going on in the front. Wow, interesting. I don't know, I feel like their haircuts are a little messed up. <laughs> they just look a little weird, don't they? Her ponytail looks super cute, and it looks like it's cut pretty accurately to what it would look like in the anime. All of her colors are accurate, and her eyes look very pretty in that pretty green. And then we move on to the outer senshi. Oh, if you're wondering, my nails are Holo Taco. I love Holo Taco. Do you buy Holo Taco? It's one of my favorite brands for nail polish, and this is using their the matte taco. I think it looks really good on top of this blue with the unicorn nail polishes. All right, next we have Sela Neptune, who also has a strange haircut. Hers is kind of like floofing up over here on the side. It's kind of awkward, but uh, yeah, we're just gonna deal with that. She's very cute, looks very accurate. Look at her little footsies. They're so adorable. This is a kawaii character. Sailor Uranus. See, her hair looks fine, but it's because like she doesn't have any kind of long ponytail thing going on in the back. But her hair looks lovely. It's very, very pretty. All the different design pieces look fairly accurate as well. She's got a bit of a thing going on in there. Like the sewing was a little jagged. <laughs> Otherwise, very cute. These are all made by Ben Presto, by the way, in case you were curious. All right, Sela Saturn, one of my faves. Hey girl, she's tiny, she's so little, it's really adorable. I wonder if she's a different height. Oh yeah, she is, she's a different height than Sailor Pluto, one of the tallest ladies. So Sailor Saturn, of course, features the little hearts in her hair, as do all of them. She also has her pretty embroidery eyes and all the colors seem quite accurate as well. Her hair is cut fairly short on this one and she does have the elastic band just like all the other ones. And lastly, we have Sailor Pluto. Who? This is Sailor Pluto. She has very, very long hair. Her hair is very cute. It's very soft. I really like the fabric that they're using on these. This is an interesting little design that you will see in Crystal. The fact that she does have her keys along her skirt. That's very cool. So of course, you will notice that all of these are based on Sailor Moon Crystal, the movie that is currently out in Japan. Actually, I think it's out of theaters at this point, and hopefully it will come international fairly soon, but that's why you will see little design features like that. So that is all of my Yume Chiku dolls. I think they're super cute. I'm gonna have to figure out a place to hang them because I don't wanna leave them on the floor or my cat will probably think that they are toys for her. Luna does that sometimes. I have a cat named Luna, I know. I would love to know if these are something that you would consider purchasing. I know that $20 is kind of steep for these, but that was the cheapest price that I could find per character, as opposed to buying them all separately or buying only my favorite one. At that point, they ended up being like upwards of 40 or $50 each. And I just was not interested in doing that. But I am kind of happy that I have all of them now, and I'm definitely going to decorate my collection room with them. Let me know if you have any questions about these or if there's anything in particular that you would like to see me review on my channel. I am back. I'm going to be a lot more consistent now that everything has kind of been settled in my new house. If you didn't see my previous episode kind of explaining where I've been, definitely watch that one as well and reach out to me via the comments or on Instagram. I'm Sailor Snubs over there in case you have any recommendations for things you would like to see on the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I really appreciate you. Thank you so much to everybody who subscribes and I will see you next time. Jane.